Most people don't spend much time thinking about their birth certificate. They may dig it out for an application, but mostly they can forget about it. But for some people, their birth certificate is a constant reminder that the way the state identifies them is not how they identify themselves. To understand why that's the case, we need to understand the distinction between sex and gender. A person's biological sex relates to their characteristics like chromosomes, genitals and reproductive organs. Gender, on the other hand, refers to how someone identifies or expresses themselves and the way other people in the community see them. As a society, we are coming to accept that sex and gender are not the same and that there is actually a diverse spectrum between male and female. That includes transgender people who identify with a gender that is different from their sex, intersex people who have a mixture of sex characteristics, and non-binary or agender people who identify not as male or female and may not identify with any gender at all. The problem is, historically, birth certificates recorded people's sex based on the characteristics observed at birth, but people who do not identify with the sex recorded may experience significant distress when required to produce a birth certificate as proof of identity. They may be physically different, feel and live differently to the sex recorded on the certificate. Recognising this in late 2019, Tasmania became the first Australian state to allow people to change gender on their birth certificate without medical treatment. These laws won't affect many people in the community, but for some diverse people, these changes will have some very profound effects.